the top five ghosts in haunted places call on camera. The Old Taylor Memorial Hospital. The Taylor Memorial Hospital was built in 1937, and at the time it was the only hospital serving much of southern Georgia. The hospital treated hundreds of thousands of people, and it was the final destination for many deathly ill patients. Throughout the hospital's history, there were many reports of people hearing mysterious voices in abandoned hallways, strange unexplained shadows, and even objects moving on their own. The Old Taylor Memorial Hospital was closed in 1977 and left abandoned. At one point, a development company purchased the building with plans to turn it into a suite of offices, but construction was mysteriously halted. Rumor has it that the construction company experienced so many spooky paranormal events that workers refused to continue the project. When the television show Ghost Stalkers filmed in the haunted building, they caught what may be the first full body apparition of a ghost caught on camera. What the hell is that? Replays show what seems to be a solid figure walking by the incinerator room. The check-in camera has captured something shocking. It seems to be headed right for Chad and I have no way to warn him. The strange figure was dubbed the Tall Man by online fans of the show. The Amityville Horror. The so-called Amityville Horror House in Suffolk County, New York may be the most famous haunted house in the world. It was the subject of a popular bestseller and an endless stream of Hollywood horror films. The house was the site of a horrible crime in 1974 when Ronald DeFeo murdered his entire family as they slept, claiming that he was possessed by an evil spirit that lived in the house. The next year, the house was purchased by the Lutz family, but they abandoned the home after living there only 28 days, claiming that they were being violently assaulted by ghosts or demons. They said that they had heard loud footsteps and screams in the house and that they were punched and scratched by unseen spirits. Their young daughter, Missy Lutz, told her parents that she had made a friend in the house that they couldn't see, a shape-shifting spirit that she called Jody. She claimed that Jody often appeared to her as either a young boy around her age or as a large pig with glowing red eyes. After the Lutz family abandoned the house, a team of parapsychologists and reporters from the local TV station conducted an investigation. A camera on an automatic timer was set up on the second floor. It snapped photos every few minutes. The investigators were shocked when they saw the pictures. One photo showed a small boy peering out of what had been young Missy Lutt's bedroom. There were no children in the house at the time of the photo. When the picture was later shown to the Lutz family, their daughter Missy simply replied, Oh yeah, that's my friend Jody that I told you about. The Ghosts of Goldfield The Goldfield Hotel in Nevada opened its doors to guests in 1907. At the time, it was considered one of Nevada's most elegant hotels, serving as accommodation for wealthy travelers. On a darker note, it also served as the site of many bizarre deaths, murders, and suicides. The Goldfield Hotel shut its doors in 1945. In what is considered one of the most famous paranormal clips of all time, the cast of Ghost Adventures caught on camera a brick which seemed to fly across the room all on its own. Okay, we hear you. We hear you. And we don't think that you're a very nice spirit because you're, you're making no noises, you're throwing But we have no fear of you. Okay? We have absolutely no fear of you. You want me to go? Is that you making all that noise? This is the room. What room? Is that you making all the noise? Holy! Oh my God! Holy! Go! 
Is that you making all the noise? Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, stop! Stop! <laughs> How could we run from something that we've been trying to capture for months? There are limits beyond our own cognitive control that we cannot withstand no matter how brave you are. The Goldfield Hotel documentary actually led to Ghost Adventures being picked up by the Travel Channel as a regular series. So far, the show has run for 15 seasons and still continues to this day. Winchester Mansion Sarah Winchester was the millionaire heiress of the Winchester Rifle Company. After the tragic death of her husband and daughter, a grief-stricken Sarah consulted a psychic medium who told her that all of the misery and misfortune that had followed her family was caused by the vengeful spirits of people who had died from being shot by Winchester rifles. The psychic told her that the only way to break the curse was to build a massive house for the ghosts to live in. She said that if Sarah ever stopped building the house, she would die too. So in 1884, Sarah Winchester moved to San Jose, California purchased a six-room house, and immediately started building onto it. She hired 22 carpenters and kept them working year-round, 24 hours a day. Workers at the house reported many strange occurrences. They would hear disembodied footsteps and voices, and the organ in the house would sometimes play by itself. Sarah Winchester would draw up new construction plans every night and present them to her construction foreman the next morning. Some of the plans made no sense stairs and doors that led nowhere and bizarre rooms inside of other rooms. Sarah believed that these odd designs would confuse the evil ghosts that haunted the house. For the same reason, she slept in a different bedroom every night. Construction on the Winchester Mansion continued until Sarah's death on September 4, 1922. By then, the seven-story house consisted of 161 rooms, with 10,000 windows, 2,000 doors, 47 fireplaces, and 9 kitchens. The creepy Winchester Mansion is now a museum. This footage of a chandelier swaying on its own was captured by a night manager at the house. time of the clip, a tour group was viewing the ballroom. The chandelier in that room was swinging as well. The Haunted Holmesburg Prison Pennsylvania's Holmesburg Prison was constructed in 1895, and over its 100-year history, it housed some of the most brutal and violent criminals in the world. Riots, beatings, and murder were a regular occurrence amongst the inmate population. There was also rampant prisoner abuse and torture carried out by prison guards. But it gets even worse. Beginning in 1951, Holmesburg prison inmates were used by the US government and drug companies for the testing of dangerous chemicals and radiation on human skin. With a history like that, it's not surprising that many believe that Holmesburg prison is haunted by the ghosts of former prisoners. The TV show Ghost Stalkers filmed an episode in the abandoned prison, and host Chad Lindbergh was quite shaken up by repeated strange noises. Upon review, it is clear that the cameras also picked up the sound of a cell door slamming shut. You can cross over! <laughs> I'm officially... <laughs> I'm officially lost my... 